Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to do the next question of our agriculture optional. जो हमारी agriculture optional answer writing series चल रही है उसका next question को आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं. And today's question is, describe the role of brassino steroids and salicylic acid hormones in agriculture. So what are the roles of these two hormones in agriculture? And this was asked in the IFOS exam that is that is Indian Forest Service examination conducted by UPSC. So the agriculture optional paper that IFOS was asked in 2022. And this type of question was new to and new to agriculture optional question paper. Jada pehle isse dekho toh I think sir sir ek aise I am not sure pucha gaya kani but brassino steroids was very new. So many students would have been found it difficult to answer. But still. We will see how to approach this answer and you should always accept a three four questions in UPSC every year in agriculture optional paper that will be new. So you should also try to deal those answers so, so that you get a, a fair amount of marks. So let's see how we can approach the answer. So as we all know that agriculture uh, hormones in agriculture has always been helpful. There are different hormones let it be growth hormones, let it be artificial hormones. So hormones have been very grateful, very helpful in agriculture for various practices. It be growth related, let it be related to reproduction, let it be related to flowering and fruiting. So many times everything is governed by some or some kind of hormone only. Okay? So, if you see, it is growth, reproduction, flowering, fruiting. In all agriculture, it is derived from hormones. If there is no hormone, it will not be able to do all the things. So, every hormone has a significant amount of function in agriculture. Be it growth hormones, natural hormones, or be it the artificial hormones which we provide from the outside so that it enhances the functions. Let it be growth, if you have natural hormones, it is 10 cm. So we will we can provide some artificial hormones to increase that rate of growth. So that the rate of 10 cm is increased by 15 cm. So both natural hormones and artificial hormones has different roles in agriculture. And today we will discuss the roles of prasinosteroids and salicylic acid. So first of all, we will discuss the role of Brassino steroids. So it has several roles. First of all, it has roles in promotion of growth, promotion of growth. So in short, Brassino steroids are also known as BRs. Keep it in mind. Okay. So BRs are used to enhance crop yields by promoting cell division and elongation. So how it helps in promotion of growth because it promotes cell division and elongation which also leads to biomass production or biomass accumulation. Biomass production. So this is the first role of Brassino steroids. Secondly, it is helpful in stress tolerance. Okay, it is also helpful in stress tolerance. So they help plants to tolerate various environmental stress. Generally, it helps in tolerating environmental stresses. Let it be heat. Let it be cold. Let it be drought, salinity, etc. It is not that helpful in uh, tolerating biotic stresses, but it is helpful in tolerating abiotic stress, generally environmental stress. So this is its second role in agriculture. Thirdly, next, it is also helpful in seedling in establishment. Seedling. Seedling establishment. So, Brassino steroids can improve seed generation rates and seedling vigor. Improves seed generation rate 
and seedling vigor which is beneficial for crop establishment with good seedling rate good seed germination rate our crop used to establish nicely it is helpful in fruit and flowering development flowering it is helpful in flowering it enhances the number of flowers it enhances the quality of flowers and if the flowering will be good the fruit development also leads uh, then it also leads to good fruit development so it also helps in flowering and fruit development so these are the some of the important roles of brassinosteroids in agriculture now we will move to the roles of salicylic acid in agriculture number 2 or role of salicylic acid so generally when you see you know uh, hear the name of salicylic acid you will always know that it has role in defense mechanism okay it helps in or you can say it is a key signaling molecule in resistance that is sar key signaling molecule in key signaling molecule in sar that is systemic acquired resistance so it has a huge role in defense mechanism so we will see how it is helpful so its first role is plant defense as we just discussed plant defense so it enhances plants resistance against pathogens enhances resistance against pathogens and these pathogens can be bacteria fungi viruses etc okay it activates the defense mechanism such as production of pathogenesis related proteins and antibacterial um, uh, antibacterial compounds to dekho ye kya hota hai to jo bhi yahan pe aapke ye kya karta hai pathogenesis ko activate kar deta hai theek hai it activates pathogenesis pathogenesis related proteins which deal with pathogens it activates and antimicrobial compounds एंटी माइक्रोबियल कंपाउंड तो यहाँ पे ये क्या करता है सेलिसलिक एसिड इट एक्टिवेट्स द पैथोजेनेसिस रिलेटेड प्रोटीन्स एंड एंटी माइक्रोबियल कंपाउंड विच फाइट विद दिस पैथोजेंस एंड डिफेंस द प्लांट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट रोल सेकेंडली इट हैज ऑल्सो रोल्स इन एबायोटिक स्ट्रेस सो यू सी दैट इन ब्रेसिनो स्ट्रॉइड दे हैड रोल इन ओनली ए बायोटिक स्टेट बस इट हैज रोल इन बायोटिक this one the biotic stress because pathogens living stress and this is the abiotic stress that is stress from non living things so it has role in both of them it also uh, protects from from biotic stress such as pathogens and other things and abiotic stress also such as stress by protects plant from the stress by droughts heat etc heavy metal stress so here what it does it regulates stress responsive genes and antioxidant systems regulates stress responsive genes and antioxidant systems which help in protection of plants from abiotic stress so this is its role in abiotic stress thirdly it enhances the post harvest quality post harvest quality the so application of salicylic acid can prolong the shelf life of fruits and vegetables delaying senses and reducing decay it can prolong shelf life of fruits and vegetables so these are the 
roles of salicylic acid in agriculture so i have discussed four uh, three four roles of both the hormones you can add other roles if you want to but keep in mind that uh, whenever you are adding some new roles please do let us know by a comment comment karke hame wo points zarur bataye taki hame pata chale that you are going in good direction or not your points are up to the mark or not so i hope you understand the roles of racinoesteroids also and salicylic acid hormones also so this was all for today please do like please do share and please do subscribe it takes a lot of hard work to make such videos for you on regular basis regular basis par the videos banane ke liye kaafi hard work lagta hai and if you like if you share if you subscribe it motivates us to make more such videos for you regularly so that is all for today have a nice day thank you